What's good? <laughs> but, no. Today is a good day because we're going to talk about everybody's favorite exercise, the bench press. A lot of people have been working out for a while and they still like just bench flat or like do things that like they just haven't learned or knew about. So Yeah, so this is basically just going to be how we bench. Um, it's not saying like everyone has to bench Benches like that or right, anything because yeah. a lot of people bench and different ways but different. we're pretty much we're just gonna do like fundamental things where if you do them just how to like not hurt yourself just regular just nice how little how tutorial to how to bench <laughs> yeah so we're just gonna start making more videos like this right yeah like, just... how to deadlift how to squat how to do a bunch of things and like if you guys have any questions or want to know how to do something just leave a comment and we'll, we'll do that video yeah so just more like informative videos and then we'll still make like other videos too oh yeah we're still gonna be vlogging and uh but these are just videos we want to do like videos that i like watching yeah uh like when i first like when started, we first started watching youtube all right let's get it you're on yeah i'm ready free workout i'm ready no, i'm on coffee so when we the way, the way we bench is you 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 look like a power lifter <laughs> But so we we both do um, a slight arch in your back. It doesn't have to be crazy or anything. Um, yeah, but I like can't even do it like some of those people. Some of them. Yeah, you had to be like really flexible for that. And I I don't even think that's as cool when you have like a yeah, two inch range of motion. Like but um, so you definitely you want your feet on the ground. Where you put your feet, you don't want to move them again after that. So you want everything to be set. And basically. The reason you have um, a little arch in your back is because you can uh, use leg drive. An important thing is you want to have your um, scapula retracted, which if you don't know what that means, how to do that, just go like normal first. And then when you retract your scapula, it's basically like your shoulder blades right here. But try and uh, bring them closer together. Some people can um, like internally rotate their shoulders. And then, wait, so that for a second, like just don't retract your scapula or anything. And just push, like without the bar, just push your arms like all the way up so then all the, when they internally rotate all the pressure is here on your shoulders and, and that that's not good that's not what you want you want your back to be on the bench your head and your butt and your feet to stay on the ground and here with, with your arms is this like is, is this weight okay for you to hold it there for a second <laughs> stop laughing <laughs> the one thing um that you don't want to do that some people do is your wrists here you want them, to, you want your wrists to be locked straight like this. You don't want them to be like bent, bent back like that. You basically, you want to be able to push through your elbows straight with the bar. Wow, look, look at those veins. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, so push up, rep. So there's one. Alright, so that was uh, how to bench press. There's uh, Zach being the dummy, dummy. today. <laughs> and I ain't no dummy. Is, he no. was perfect at <laughs> Alright, so the main points are to keep your feet planted, not on your tippy toes, keep your feet planted, heels down, keep your butt on the bench. Because a lot of people, when they have a heavy weight, their butt always lifts, so that means you lower like, your yeah, weight. Like butt on the bench, keep your scapula contracted. So or retracted so that your so that your shoulders so you don't get a torn rotator cuff like I did because before I used to bench like flat and everything and I tore my rotator cuff. So keep your shoulders back and tight. Keep your shoulders on the bench. And also a lot of some people like when they're benching when they're coming down, some people like tend to lift their head when they're benching. You should always keep your head on the bench because like you could have neck problems. One time I like tweaked my neck because I would used to do that too. Yeah, just on um, And when you're coming down with the bar. You want to tuck your elbows in slightly so that you can push through your elbows, through your forearms, and into your wrists. And when you're holding the bar, not to have your wrist like this, but more yeah. firm and straight. So everything is going in one full motion and you'd be a lot stronger with your bench. And I, I would just say for people who don't know where to like hold, to put your arms when you're benching, I think a good, like a good spot for everybody would be like 45 degree angle. Just oh, for like, oh, where, right. like where your elbows are. Like you don't want them to be way out yeah. like that. Or in like that, like 45 degrees, I'd say it's good yeah. for most people. Yeah, that'll be good. So there you go, that's how to bench.